Hi there, my dear close friends, English speaking friends from all over the world. So I was looking for a good spot, a shadow, uh, but with a beautiful view, but it didn't work out. So I have a shadow so I can see camera for a second and then I will try to monitor it so you will see something better, like uh, nice views, not just trees, although the trees are pretty nice. And this is my last day in Croatia. I'm in Zadar. It's beautiful here. It's like being in another dimension. It's worth to be here because the experience, the experience you have within yourself, nobody can take it away. So going to those places, traveling, it's worth it for me. Uh, but we will talk about traveling more about another video. But this one, I will tell you just a little bit about what news I am gathering from you uh, and what to be very, very careful about. So one lady wrote me, shall she buy candles from esoteric man who's selling them for quite a bit of money to do a white magic ritual of love? Um, so I don't know, probably many of you already know what I'm what I'm going to tell uh, tell to that but what are in such a price are these candles from gold or my other friend said maybe they are in the shape of a penis that's why I don't know but the thing is that if you want to help economically someone this is your friend makes candles itself and it's a price and you want to support someone do it but if you're feeling you are manipulated and your gut feeling is telling you something is off and the price for the very simple white candle is such high, then uh, you know what to do. Another thing, there is uh, someone and these news are coming to me. I don't know how many times I heard already that a uh, lady that's supposed to help someone, uh, she is over and over telling the same story to... Uh, people who seek help uh, and if you go to someone and you are desperated in a despair and in such a state of mind you don't have energy and you know very well if you don't have it it will be taken away from you uh, if you have it you will gain more uh, that another the, the principle it was even in Bible written uh, applies pretty well so because then you don't have access to your feelings and people who are not uh, following certain ethics of work and in these cases like spirituality you don't have certificates and even if you do I, I don't know how many schools are there and that's why we have a psychotherapy schools and certificates and people learning that crafting have supervision for many many years so they have ethics of work and if they cross that they there is a certain consequence to that in a spirituality is different you have to more follow your uh, feeling um, so at least you know in psychotherapy the specialist even if you don't resonate with him her won't hurt you uh, in esoteric world weird stuff can happen so you gotta be more careful here so what this lady is telling the story goes more or less like this she tells people that uh, they are fallen angels and whether whether they don't have a soul or it was taken away from them for a few hours or a few days different stories but here this differs just a bit um, or their spouses took soul from them here the stories are different it's a good for a good book and uh, frankly like if my author imagination goes wild sure there is something in mythology we will get to that maybe another time but um, if that would happen taking away the soul uh, then I think you would not be able to walk freely on earth uh, you would suffer quite a bit something like that and other people would really feel that something is really wrong with you and they will they will be scared to be in your presence not mentioning you um, you probably would behave like a zombie that's just my imagination you know that right uh, so I just 
urge everyone, please be so, so careful. And if you are in a desperation, because these things are happening when people are in a difficult state of mind. So first call someone you know, you trust, talk about it. Dis discuss the people you think they... Uh, they're looking so great on internet. They want to help. They have a great marketing. They have a great image. We all know how it works. Maybe not all of us, but a lot of us knows how it works and how the impression of the website, uh, references. You don't know where is it coming from. Uh, and if there are very the more popular the more um i actually don't want to say that but uh, but it happens very often that uh the there are the full campaign to launch someone and uh, then it costs a lot a lot a lot of money and if you do have it if you want to uh if you can afford it you can pay for the experience and uh, add to the economy of the country, go for it, support other people, Get, go for it. But uh, if you cannot afford it and you are spending your last money for someone you don't know, you're not sure, and then you hear stories, um, I'll be more careful here. And if you do came, come across someone who's telling you things like, uh, you were fallen angel or something like that and then ask question how did you know about it what did you see that was it in your vision how did you check with your um, cards pendulum uh, because you know there is a certain ethics I do read tarot runes and I always say this one very important thing that these are just cards I interpret them and if something doesn't resonate with you, you should not believe me. You should not believe it and keep asking questions until you will be satisfied. Because I am trying to do the best I can my work and also uh, interpret impressions that are coming into my vision. But 100%, who can see things 100%? So. Yeah, that's just uh, it. I'm going to show you a little bit of the view because um, it looks like, it feels like I'm like in another dimension here and part of me, just part of me doesn't want to go back. And let me check if I don't record anyone. So I cannot see myself anymore. I hope you can see that beautiful sun. Yes, sort of. I actually came into camera more, but this is my view for the last day. And I will be going back to another normality. So take as much as you can still breaths, looking at the sunsets, whatever you are, because this is part of the energy and uh, part of how you're connecting with yourself. And I will tell you just one last thing. Um, if you don't know what to do, your body is always sending you signals um, if something is good for you or it is not. And your body is giving you those signals pretty in a pretty drastic way when, when it doesn't agree with you. So, you know, this gut feeling, you have pain in the stomach when someone tells you things that you don't deeply agree with, but you politely listening because maybe you think you should or maybe it's so-called specialist or a doctor um, so so that's one thing and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people want to go and experience other um, dimensions of being other astral worlds uh, other subtle bodies uh, they they learned that there are lots of subtle bodies out there. Um, we, the materialistic is just the one of it. But how can you do that uh, if you don't have a connection first to your material, physical uh, parts of the body where 
someone's crime. I'm aware of that. <laughs> um, when we are not aware where in our body we hold our fears, and we all have them, our um, anxiety, hopes, wishes, worries, all of that we carry with ourselves. So uh, I think the most important to start this so-called um, spiritual growth or continue is to start with your own body, any form, Tai Chi, yoga, dance, martial arts, swimming, anything is good. It's up to you what's, what, um, what is your best fit and what fits your structure, your posture, your personality. So this is how I would even uh, start. Okay, I think I, <laughs> I spoke quite a bit. I'm wishing you a wonderful time, whatever you are, and uh, looking forward to hearing from you.